Welcome back everyone to another LEGO video. My name is Tyler, also known as Life Bricks, and today I really have to make a quick little video to kind of get this off my chest. Uh, this is definitely something where, you know, three or four days from now, I'm probably going to look back and be like, okay, you know, why did I make a video on this? But uh, quite frankly, it has been affecting my life for the past 12 hours. It's nothing super, super serious, but I feel like I need to let, you know, most of you guys know, and there are probably majority of you guys that do kind of care or wondering, you know, it all kind of stemmed from when I did wake up this morning, there was about 25, 30 different comments and messages involving this. So it made me think, all right, it's probably better off I do a video. There's probably quite a few of you guys wondering. So last night I did a, a very long Lego live stream. It lasted for, uh, you know, right, right at eight hours. I started at uh, 8 p.m. my time, uh, went all the way till 4 a.m., uh, you know, central time, you know, my time. And uh, we covered pretty much all of the 2024 stuff, man. Like we, we went for eight hours. We also covered the Arc Trooper 5's leak. Uh, that clip is on the Life Bricks clip, uh, clips channel, though, if you guys want to go check it out. Um, you know, it's about 30 minutes long. It's uh, basically my, my live reaction to the fives and then also ryan uh popped on and uh we had you know a nice little discussion there pretty much going about um everything bad about it you know the few good things about it so you guys definitely can you know should check that out after this video but uh basically what happened all right so it was eight hours of you know a very cool live stream a lot of fun times a lot of people you know popping in there uh there's like eight thousand people that you know came in and out and you know in my opinion it was a live stream i was very proud of uh you know the quality i finally bumped it up to 1080p uh the audio was pretty good and just nonetheless it was really truly you know the first live stream of 2024 and something i was proud of okay so one thing i did however in that stream all right the only non-lego thing i did was at the very end man the last 10 minutes okay of the stream i reacted to a tv show trailer all right my most you know looking forward to show of 2024 uh that being the ones who live uh, from the walking dead universe I reacted to the latest two minute trailer. Um, you know, since I just wanted to express kind of my opinions on it, I want to show everyone the trailer. I wanted to get people hyped up for it. Um, I'm doing my best to hype up that show. Um, you know, I'm a Lego channel. I talk about, uh, Lego and Star Wars for the most part, but, uh, you know, The Walking Dead is my, my favorite, you know, kind of TV universe and, and Rick Grimes is my favorite fictional character. And, you know, of course he's back in that show. I'm doing my best to promote it, uh, you know, for free. Again, am I doing crazy promotion? Probably not, you know, but even if I can make another hundred people, you know, go check out the show, man. You know, I, I want that. You know, I want that universe to continue to uh, succeed. But I reacted to the trailer. All right, fine and dandy. All right, closed off the stream. All right, I went upstairs, had a little food. All right, uh, was just about to go to bed. And literally right before I was going to shut my phone off uh, to go to sleep, I got an email all right, from YouTube, from Google, um, that my live stream got a copyright claim on it, all right, and guess who it's from? It's from AMC, okay, so um, initially, I'm like, all right, like, I looked at it for a second, I'm like, all right, what's going on here? Of course, it was for the trailer, okay, my initial reaction was, all right, I'll just cut that part out, because you can edit videos on YouTube and live streams, and trim out a certain part of a video, if it's, you know, getting copyright claimed, but of course, the live stream went over eight hours, and eight hours is the maximum amount of time that you can cut something out of. So because the live stream was eight hours and one minute, I could not go in there and cut out the two minutes of the Walking Dead footage out of an eight hour Lego stream. All right. And now that live stream is copyright claimed. All right. Luckily. All right. Knock on wood. It's not copyright striked. OK, so there's not a strike on my channel. But basically what this means. OK. And it's crazy. Basically, no one in the world can watch the stream unless you are in North America, okay? You know, USA or Canada. Yeah, every other country, every other, anywhere in the world, you're not allowed to watch that stream now. It's blocked in all those countries. And, uh, you know, they are taking the, the ad money as well. Um, you know, they're taking just the ad money. Luckily, I looked into it. And everything should be good on the fact of they're, they did not, they're not going to take super chat money, you know, membership money. Um, so if you guys did, you know, financially donate last night, um, all that is still going directly to me. Of course, YouTube's going to take the regular cut, but you know, that's not going to go to AMC. Okay. So, uh, you know, and luckily live streams don't make like too much money to begin with, but you know, that is 30, 40, 50 bucks, you know, that will go to AMC. But honestly, it's not about the money. It's a hundred percent more so about the fact of now, you know, majority of my viewership and any viewership in the future, because that is definitely a stream that, like I said, there's about 8,000 people that just tuned in uh, during those eight hours. Okay. 
and once it hits recommended, you know, you actually kind of get it in the, the algorithm, that definitely probably would have gained another, you know, maybe even double. It probably would have get, you know, another 10, 15, 20,000 views possibly um, over the next couple months. And now that's severely depleted because no one besides North American people can actually watch it. So I did file a dispute with them, you know, for what it's worth. I mean, honestly, the, the reason why I even thought it was right to begin with, because believe me, if it was like a year, two years ago, even six months ago, I would have not done that. You know, I would have known better and type of, you know, that type of thing. But literally in the past week that that specific trailer has been out, I've seen so many people react to that trailer. All right, I've been watching reaction videos for years, of course. I think we all do at some point. And, uh, you know, people, of course, I understand if it's like Disney, man, you got to cut down your Star Wars show. You got to cut down your, Mar you know, uh, your Marvel show. You know, you can't just, you know, show the whole episode on your reaction video. I get that. And even then... Those are episodes, man. Those are TV episodes. You know, people react to movies. Like, that truly is content that I would, you know, more so could be copywritten, I feel, because, you know, that could actually inherently hurt the performance of the, you know, entertainment that that company put out. But, like, something like a trailer, think about it for a second. First off, hundreds of other people react to full-length trailers, and a lot of these reactor, you know, channels do it as their job, I would assume, okay, and don't get copyright struck every single damn time, or, you know, copyright claimed, but, uh, you know, where it takes their money, uh, you know, if they're, if they're doing it as a job, but for me, it's like, you would assume, don't they want to get that trailer in front of as many people as possible, no matter what it takes? I mean, you know, me taking, I had like maybe 150 people in at that time. Again, even if I could sway a couple people to go watch that show, you know, that would have not watched the trailer either way, and there was a couple people in the chat that said that. And, uh, you know, I'm not, you know, arguing, like, semantics and the fact of, like, look, they don't need me to promote it to 150 people. They don't, all right? They're, they're still going to get a million, two million views, and it is what it is, you know, on the actual episode. But basically, for what it is, I just want to make this video for one of three things. All right, first up, um, you know, just to, I guess, apologize to AMC for what it's worth if they ever see this. Um, I meant no, you know you know, ill will. I mean, I meant no, I had no bad intentions. I've been watching The Walking Dead Universe since 2012. Um, I, I'm a super fan, man. I'm here till the end of time. I will watch any show they put out uh, regarding The Walking Dead. Uh, second up, um, really kind of just let all you guys know because it's on my channel, but virtually no one besides North American people can actually watch it. Uh, and, you know, that definitely sucks because that was a hyped up stream. I, you know, that was a very long stream, very proud of its stream, uh, promoted it for, you know, three or four days prior and first stream of 2024. And now pretty much no one can watch it now. Although I guess maybe it's one of those things for the better. All right. If you were there, you were there type thing. You got to experience it. There was a couple new, uh, life bricks inside jokes, a little bit, uh, more, you know, life bricks lore that happened. Uh, maybe it's for the best in that regard. You know, if you were there, you kind of got to understand everything. And now going forward, of course, I know better. And uh, third thing, honestly, man, just so I can kind of like have a peace of mind. All right. Because, you know, again, I, I, I slept pretty bad anyway, after knowing this, you know, I was up, you know, very late last night, only got a couple hours of sleep. And, and there's been a lot of people that have asked me throughout the day, you know, what happened? And I'm like, oh my God, it just, it sucks. You know what I mean? That like, I had no way of really telling everyone what happened. So I figured I'd had to make a little video. All right, so here's the video. Um, again, I'm probably gonna, you know, look back and be like, all right, kind of maybe why did I do this? I did file that dispute uh, it, in a perfect world. Um, hopefully, you know, after the weekend on Monday or Tuesday, they literally, I don't care, man. They could take all the ad money they want. I don't care, you know? But just, I, I just want it to be public to everyone in the world again to watch that video because I think it's a damn good stream. I'm truly proud of it and I had a damn fun time. And um, I know a lot of you guys watching it did as well. So uh, that is everything for today's video. Definitely go check out Lifebricks clips. I will definitely clip out some scenes from that stream, um, you know, some important ones. And I will post it throughout the next week um, on the clips channel. So go subscribe over there. I know, you know, for the better now in the future, we, we will never react to a damn thing. Um, you know, that isn't like maybe like another Lego content creators video, um, but anything from a big corporation, man, F that dude. I mean, again, I get it. I understand. They don't know that I'm a super fan of 10 years and nor does that legally matter, but, uh, damn, am I disappointed. So I'll see you guys all in the next video. I'm going to try to get some sleep tonight and, uh, just kind of, you know, I don't know, think it off and just kind of forget about it and just kind of understand that it's not the end of the world. Push forward. It's the first rock in the road of 2024. And, um, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys and stay safe.